So this is what I figured out after sleeping and just clearing my head. I was Rich's ina like initial target for him to put a hit on me because of the stuff that I was exposing. And when he realized how difficult it was, I had my awakening in the midst of this and I became more and more aware and I guess lethal with my, with my gifts. And uh, so then when he realized it was hard for him to get near me because I'm, I'm, I'm not a prostitute and I'm not, I'm not an addict and I don't really talk to many people. I don't even leave the house a lot. I'm an introvert. This is why I was chosen for this. Um, he lied to a cartel, to a really dangerous group of people and said that either myself or that Brian did as well, stole drugs that other people, he figured, oh, well, I can help myself out in this situation. Like I can steal the drugs, make money off it or do them, whatever they decided to do and then pin it on this person and the cartel will kill her for me. This is what's been happening consistently. This is why these, uh, life insurance claims keep popping up because he can, and for some, somehow knowing people, probably like judges and stuff, can actually get other people money to kill me. But he's the one that's supposed to be doing it. And he can't. This is why there's so many people after that that have had life insurance policies on me. Um, because I feel like he's told that there's a million dollars, they'll get paid a million dollars for taking me out. And what that really is, because he's broke, because he's going through karma for coming after a chosen one like this, is he has to actually pay them through a fake life insurance policy. This is what I got from all of this, man. This is so crazy. But it's the government who is behind this hit on me. Go fuck yourselves. I'm not going nowhere. I'll post your names if I got to. This is why I had to reach out to senators. And I'm so thankful because these guys are actually heroes. And I know Rich is real nervous about this and you should because wherever you're from, Pakistan 222, I think it is, uh, probably not the best place to live. This was probably something that you had to do in order to come here and have citizenship and stay here. The government is probably also protecting the information about the 10 women that he has put hits on. Now, I don't know if some of them were for the same reason as me, it could vary or if their organs got trafficked or something, but there was a reason, um, and I'm pretty sure the government was probably behind most of them, if not all of them, because I think that that's his job here. If they make movies about this shit, about people being hitmen for the government and then having families and stuff. So um, I will not have someone else take my life. That will not happen. I have been fighting for my life since this started, since I've gotten here. I have been fighting for my life since I was at Mike's house in Norristown. I've been fighting for my life with this. It went from like a gang initiation, like a sacrifice for a cult type gang to now a hit up from the government to cartels want a cartel wanting to kill me because of the lies that Rich told and other people thinking they could get their asses off the hook for stealing drugs from a cartel. And, and it's just, I just can't even believe it, which is why my story is definitely going to be a movie. But I had to call on uh, more powerful troops this time. So those that are also exposing the government. So I'm very grateful for you guys. And I just put this together and we're not going nowhere. Even the senators, nowhere. Love you. I love you guys. I mean, for the senators too.